What's up guys, StuDog here, welcome back to another episode of the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! ripoffs online. So starting things off, we're going to be checking out some listings from this eBay seller the name of US Ebdis. And apparently according to him, the slide for the Sky Dragon is not in the worst of condition, and it's a hidden treasure worth $300. <laughs> Look at this description, he's like, I've had this card for about 9 years now, and it's still in pretty good condition. He's at least accepting offers, guys. He can go make an offer of a nice shiny nickel you found on the ground at Walmart. This is pretty good condition? <laughs> that is so bad. It's all scratched. The edgeware is terrible. It's worn out. His pet cat just kept on scratching it. You see all the scratches there. It's bent in all four corners of the card. And the back is still terrible, too. I mean, oh my god, seriously. This is terrible condition. That is not pretty good condition, man, really. $300. Uh, and it, it doesn't even stop there. Here's the same seller, a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Not even first edition from the freaking starter deck, Joey. He's like, oh yeah, it's, it's still in pretty good condition, right? And again, all four corners, terrible edge wear, and again, ah, man, that is just so nasty, so freaking nasty, man, that is so bad, and he's asking, what, $150 plus like $2 shipping for this, and this goes for like a retail, what, $3 at the most, and that's for like a near mint condition, this is nowhere near, near mint, in not pretty good condition. I'm, I'm so sorry, bro, man. I'm so sorry. Anyway, going on to some tournament ready decks. You got a Yu-Gi-Oh! 40 card Dark Lord deck. Tournament ready! Hot. So freaking hot. Look at this. So, anyway. Uh, he's asking. How much is he asking? That is $45. And you get to see Dark Lord Mary that, you know, everyone plays. Some other Dark Lord stuff. Doesn't give us one Ixgel, of course. You get a couple Superbias, which I guess is decent. But then you go to the spell lineup, and you're like, really? Your main deck in Prohibition? Your main deck in Hammer Shot? You can't even give us, like, a Dark Hole. You give us a freaking Hammer Shot. Give us a main deck Shrink, because, you know, everyone plays Shrink. And uh, a main deck Overworked. Yes. Can't even give us a mirror force. You give us a random Nordic card, Tinky Soul, Time Machine. Like, I don't even know what this stuff is. Oh, a random ceasefire, because you never know when ceasefire is going to come in handy, guys. You, you never know. Ooh, you get this nasty. Ooh, this nasty skull deck box, whatever. I guess that's kind of cool. And that's it. Apparently, no extra deck. Who needs an extra deck, guys? And here's your MLG Dark Lord deck doesn't even have the best dark lord card or like even the searcher card it's even play it i don't even know anyway yeah totally worth um 45 dollars here it gets even worse when we get this 44 card harpy deck that's apparently tournament ready and hot i love the clickbait so you don't even give us one harpy channel or you at least give us the three dancers he doesn't even give us a hysteric sign he gives us harpy's brother Harpy's brother? What's the point? A couple Harpy girls, because you never know when a level 2 500 attack monster is going to come in handy, guys. He does at least give us the pet dragon, but of course no Chandler to summon it, so it's just going to sit in your hand doing nothing. No Harpy Queen to search out, you know, your haunting ground or anything, of course. And some very situational rank 4s. Can't even give us one Utopia. Can't even give us one rank 7. I mean, it doesn't matter. You don't give us Chandler in the first place. And you don't even give us the best spell card in the entire deck, pretty much. The Harpy... Uh, or no, the Hysteric Sign, which is like a free plus 2 if you pop it. And it searches out your Elegant Ink. Does, nope, you, you give us nothing. Yes! The extra deck's terrible, by the way. <laughs> Can't even give us a Utopia. You give us regular old Harpy Lady and the... Nice clutch artwork, a harpy's brother, because, you know, you don't want the brother to be lonely, of course. And again, the random useless harpy girls. 
And he's asking how much for this? He's asking $55 for this. Who the frick would pay $55 for this? Oh, yeah, you get the random insect guy, the flying Kamakiri number one to, like, special summon some of these bad boys from the deck. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Oh, God, terrible. So, anyway, going on to... This is a 300-plus mixed lot Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Look at this guy. Look at the nerve of this guy. He has the nerve... To put Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a Pokemon tin. Nice Mewtwo, by the way. And he writes Yu-Gi-Oh, so people know it, it's not Pokemon. Like, what? <laughs> nice job. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that is... That doesn't even look like 300 cards. Majority of them are in terrible condition, by the way. And as you can see, they're all scattered on that dirty floor that probably hasn't been cleaned in, like, two months. You get some hungry hamburgers, so hopefully you guys like hamburgers. Get There's a man-eater bug right there, a remove trap, and some other stuff, a monster reborn. And you're saying this is like 300 cards, and yet you're asking $534. So that's essentially more than $1 per card. This is no... You're telling me each one of these cards in terrible condition goes for more than $1. That is so false in so many ways. Average price for like one of these cards is like probably seven cents i won't even give you 10 cents for one of these most expensive card i don't even know what it is probably either the relinquished like you only get like two hollows you get an xyz dragon cannon relinquished and a bls those are like the only three hollows you get yeah and all these are more than one dollar good luck trying to find someone to buy this i'm, I'm just saying but that pokemon tin is very cool i, I might buy this just because that pokemon tin man looks so so clutch. Anyway, going on to the last one. Here we go. Here it is. $200,000. $200,400 for this Yu-Gi-Oh card collection here. Cash only. Well, I hope you guys are a big fan of robbing banks. Because how are you going to get $200,000 in cash to buy this? Only accepting cash. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Is this is totally worth $200,000, right? Yes, indeed. Ooh, Snowman Eater. I love Snowman Eater. Ooh, a Gorse Token. You get a clutch Gorse Token, guys. Look at that. There it is. You get Exodia. It's most definitely worth robbing a bank for $200,000 in cold hard cash. Oh, man. Really, guys? So I was thinking maybe the title was a misclick and he meant to put a, a space between there to be $200 to $400. But either way, this is not even worth like $200 because the majority of these are just terrible commons anyway. So either way, it's a ripoff. But it's more funny saying $200,000 in cash only. Yes. Over 300 cards. Yeah, yeah, buddy, man. So anyway, thank you all for watching this uh, month's edition of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ripoffs. We'll be back next month with some more. And of course, if you guys have some great ripoffs that you found on the internet, feel free to message them to me on YouTube or at my email, stewdog8 at gmail.com. And you can be featured in an up-and-coming episode of the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! Ripoffs online. That's all i got to say about this video, guys. So thank you all for watching, as always. And until next time, this has been Stewdog, and I'm signing out.